Joel, what's happening? Caterpillar's gaining on us quick. Well, we're doing two knots. We're getting beat up. This is easting, baby. Nothing we can do about it. Well, I don't, there's no magic potion. Well, you wouldn't have sure. any idea, would you? This is Joel. Together with Tony and Jared, he gave up everything to buy a boat and go on the adventure of a lifetime. But after a death-defying sail to Cuba, he returned to Key West and found himself Wish alone. Good luck on this adventure. When Michael finished school, I asked her to sail with me to the Bahamas. Four months later, we made it to the Dominican Republic. Broke and in love. Bums on a Boat is a true story about facing fear, finding adventure, and falling in love. Each tale is brought to you by our patrons and viewers. Subscribe and click the bell to get notified about weekly premieres and visit our website to learn more. Thank you for watching. These are the tales of Boab. We're leaving from Puerto Real on our way to La Pagara, which should be about a five hour trip. We're heading east um, on the south side of Puerto Rico. And we got a buddy boat, Caterpillar. And they are just leaving the field dock now. We're a little bit behind schedule, but we have, looks like a pretty good day. So I'm gonna secure the anchor and we're hoping to have an awesome day today. Okay, really good experience at Marina Pescaderia. We were there for about six weeks. Super affordable rates, great place to be. Yeah, nothing but positive reviews from us, but we are pretty excited to be underway and living on anchor again. Nothing compares. Good girl, Lola. Is that your spot there, Poopsie? What we're doing is called easting, obviously, right? We're going east. But when you're easting in Puerto Rico, the cruiser mentality is you want to be gentle on your boat and on yourselves. And so because the wind is always going to be from the east in your face, you wait for really calm days and you use your motor and you make, um, you know, today we're going to try to make 20 to 30 miles east. And I can understand the frustration, some of you that think that this is a sailing channel and we should be sailing and we shouldn't use our motor but I would say that we're more of a transient living cruising um, alternative lifestyle nomadic channel more than sailing we do love to sail but our number one priority is to travel and to see places and to keep our home in one piece I think if you have a sailboat on the dock and you don't live on it and you just like to go out and sail, I understand that mentality. I think I would be a lot more like that and just want to go out in some high winds and sail the boat and rip it apart. But when you're living and moving, I think it's a totally different ball game. I'm pretty sure it doesn't get any more calm than that. All right, so we did have a little bit of wind and it was off of our beam, so we decided to pull the main sail. Um, so we're gonna do the old motor sail and we actually were able to go from four and a half knots to about five knots. So that gave us like a half a knot and we didn't have to push the engine any harder. So I think that was a good call. Our friends on Caterpillar, we just checked in with them and about 20 minutes out, they had a clogged fuel line, one of their engines. They had some gunk in the tank 
They've been dealing with this for a while. They don't have a good access point because it's sectioned off. So that's really gotta be frustrating. But they had one engine and were able to keep four knots. I think they've got it fixed now and that had to be frustrating. So, a lot of you might notice that our main sail looks a lot better. A, many of you weighed in on our sail from Luperon to Puerto Rico and said our boom did not look right with our main sail. Land! Land ho! But there was a big gap between the the aft end of the boom and the left, left end of the sail. And so we have corrected that. It looks so much better. Not really sure if it's sailing better, but it definitely looks good. I think that I'm going to hide it. We just made our tack around that southern tip of the southwest side of Puerto Rico. So we are going into the wind. We're down to about three knots from five knots, um, which is a, probably about as good as we're gonna do. This is a calm day, but it's still blowing probably 10, maybe up to 15. It might get up to 15 as we get later in the day. This is easting, baby. Nothing we can do about it. running really good but we are dealing with a bit of an oil leak which is something we dealt with the entire 250 mile trip from Luperon to Puerto Rico. Um, it's not gushing out like it was then. We addressed a lot of oil leaks on that trip. Now I'm thinking it's coming out of where the fuel pump um, connects to the engine. There's a gasket that came with the new fuel pump that didn't look the same as the old gasket on the old pump and I don't think it's doing what it needs to do. We're probably not quite halfway to Perguera but we're just going to monitor it. It's just seeping out. It's not gushing. Um, if we get a ton of oil in the bilge obviously we'll cut the engine and fill it up. Um, fill up the engine with more oil because we're pretty sure we can make it and we want to make it there today before dark. So that's the plan. I'll keep you posted. Joel, what's happening? Caterpillar's gaining on us quick. Well, we're doing two knots. We're getting beat up. We have not revved our engines up at all. We want to just leave them right where they're at. Because of that oil leak, we just want to keep things steady and we are just right into the wind. Two knots, two and a half. I'm guessing Caterpillar probably gave it a couple RPMs. You notice they're not using a sail, which is smart for the catamaran going right in the wind. We're kind of doing little tacks and we're struggling. How about that nifty new GPS though? That's my new phone. I'm really excited about her. We are having fun right now. We're uh, motor tacking in between uh, the anchorage. Michael showed you the breaking water over there. We got land and we're coming right. We're kind of just weaving in, in and out. It's pretty fun. Bobbing and weaving. Bobbing and weaving. And when we go this way, then the wind really helps us out. Woo! And we're back to four and a half, five knots.
Nice job, old girl. Whew. I'm about to pee my pants. We should probably get out of her way then, shan't we? Caterpillar made it safe. They're anchored right next to us. We got our big bad mantis down right now and that thing catches so fast. It's amazing. First try, boom. I think we're gonna hang out here for a few days. Nice job, old girl. Pro. When we make uh, top five best additions to sailboat life, the Vibe Pro is definitely going to make that list. My brother Tony and sister-in-law Maria got this for me for my birthday, an early birthday present coming up soon, and it was so thoughtful of them. And you can do your own self-massage, so Michael, I don't have to try to rope her into giving me massages now, I can just take matters into my own hands and just vibe like a pro. No, we're not sponsored by Vibe Pro, but I'd love to be. If you're out there and you know, you're know you a Vibe Pro CEO or owner, or, oh, is it raining? We'll probably cut way before that. Vibe Pro! I just took like a three hour nap and I'm still really not back to 100%. Joel was an absolute legend out there today, and I was not much more than a warm body. She was everything. I no. kind of had a hard time. I really had a hard time, actually. No, but she's being hard on herself. Um, this, where it, um, La Pagara, there's a lot of these motorboats flying around in your anchorage. It's kind of fun. It gives you a wild ride. Um, sorry about that. Tons of action. Out tons here. of action. We're definitely where the cool kids hang out. <laughs> So Michael was hard on herself. It was the first time when she grabbed the helm, I could see she was n uncomfortable and uneasy. And I said, Michael, just let me take over. Yeah. But having her there means the world. And she helped me. We made about three audibles on our chart. We had had our plan waypoints and we changed them about three times. And Michael was there in that conversation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, okay, so guys, you can just tune out for this section. I'm talking to the girls right now. Um, are there any of you out there? There are girls. If who you're watch. a girl, I know there are. let us know and you're I'm watching. I'm talking to you right now. Um, I started my period yesterday, and I feel like that just kind of threw me out of the game. I, I don't normally get seasick, I haven't ever been seasick. But I felt nauseous today. I felt like I was the closest I've ever been to possibly throwing up. And yeah, actually for the first time when I grabbed the wheel, I kind of got the deer in the headlights. Like I don't want to be behind the wheel right now. So my <laughs> question to you is if you have any like ways to reset when you're having a really bad time and like you need to be present and you need to be able to respond and like perform at a high level um yeah if anybody has any ideas or medications i don't know just let me just let me know in the i don't comments. think there's anything out there i think i think this is uh just one of those things all right well, i don't there's no magic potion well you wouldn't have sure. any idea would you i wouldn't know Nope, I am. <laughs> All right, guys, you can tune back in. Thankful for here. that one. Yeah, hopefully you guys muted. You can unmute now. And we're here. 
we are going to go out and check out La Parguera, Parguera yeah. tomorrow morning. Really excited to. Our friend Russell said that this is like one of his favorite spots. Mm-hmm. And, I, and a few others I posted on Facebook and they weighed in. Uh, also, the Rendezvous crew, mm. our patrons are in our WhatsApp group and they have a link to our exact location, our coordinates, and they get to watch us as we travel. And thank you for keeping tabs on us. And it was really enjoyable to read um, the updates and the weather you were posting, the currents, the wind direction, the waves. It was so cool. We got um, back online on the phone once we got here and we could see everyone chatting amongst themselves, like talking, oh, the, they're headed into like 10 knots on the nose. They must be. They slowed down big Having time. Having a fun time out there. Yeah, we were making about four and a half, five knots, and then we slowed to about two knots for a little while when we rounded uh, Cabo Rojo, the lighthouse point. That it got really slow there for a bit, and there was not much we could do about it. But then we cut in and got some protection, did some in and outs, and. Eh. It's really nice to be cruising with Caterpillar as well. Oh, it's awesome. Just looking over and seeing them. Yeah. Love those guys. Helps you breathe an extra second deeper. Mm. Smells like somebody's out. grilling out. Mm, it's probably Caterpillar. Mm. We should probably either throw the dinghy in the water or swim over. Thanks for watching. We will see you next time. 